Chicago, Illinois. Ooh wee! Doing four shows out there this week. Mm -hmm. Do yourself a favor. Couple of ticks left. Scoop them up. Grab the squad and come see the boys. Yeah, baby. Then we're gonna be in Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, Sacramento. Ooh. Two shows there. San Francisco, San Jose, Washington D.C. Then we're ending it. Ending the year big at the Fillmore in Philadelphia. Two shows. Limited tickets there. Peace. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they're good to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Ace Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. Mm -hmm. She's upstairs raking leaves. Oh, good for her. Drunk, but okay, she's still raking enough. the leaves, okay. getting the housework done. Uh -huh. All right. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. He's my best pal in the whole wide world. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What's up, gang? Thanks for tuning cool in. Cool jean jacket. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available Cowboy. on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to rip. Cooking. And then obviously the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Garbage Gang. Yeah. Check it out. It's a freaking party over there. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Mm -hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What up, hey, pal. We got such a good vibe yeah. in the edition. She comes in, makes you feel like family, nice yeah. and cozy. One you know? of the best. We got a killer in the studio <laughs> you here. You ain't lying. Gang, the long hair ain't lying because we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest mm -hmm. here with us today for the first time. She is a very funny, very successful stand-up comedian, actor, podcaster, author, and producer. And you might have seen her in, but not limited to. We got BET's Comic View. Mm -hmm. We have Gotham Comedy Live. We have Laughs. This is not happening. Last Comic Standing. The the Church of What's Happening Now, WTF with Mark Marin, mm -hmm. Dish Nation, The Joe Rogan Experience, The Cabin, Wendy Williams, Kelly Clarkson, The Daily Show, The Talk, Jennifer Hudson, Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Myers, mm -hmm. Big City Greens, Zoe 102, The Degenerates. She's on tour right now, and of course, she's the star of The Miss Pat Show, 33 episodes of that. About Damn. to have a fourth season, baby. Look out. She has her own Netflix, Netflix special, Want to Hear Something Crazy, an amazing podcast, The Pat Down. She's also the author author of her own autobiography, Rabbit, and she has a brand new show on BET that is absolutely killing it. Miss Pat settles it. Give it up for Miss Pat, everybody. Hey. There we go. Look at that. Girl's a worker. Woo! Laundry man, list. Man, you should you should do this for a living. You can sell some people. <laughs> <laughs> you make me want to know who the hell is Miss Pat. <laughs> I was just waiting on you to give out the air. <laughs> I almost like, ran out a couple of I was times. like, shouldn't he be saying all this shit? <laughs> Ain't you too big to be running all that off. You need to start reading. You too thick for all that with that ticket. I was concerned. I was going to give you CPR over there. Tell me, get my inhaler, will you? I was tired of listening to you. And I'm big too. I was like, brother, take a breath. Take a breath, brother. I'm sweating. Man. Blacked out three times. I know. Congratulations oh, on the new show. Yeah. Thank you. Miss Pat settles it. Yeah, I'm a judge. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? I've been to jail enough. <laughs> I know my rights, God damn it! Pass the bar so in Georgia. Do. Let's go. Well, I didn't need no bar. <laughs> I've been to the bar to drink and eat, but not that kind of bar. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, give us the backstory. Give us the origin story of Miss Pat. Oh, I'm just a little old lady, a little old girl from the inner city of Atlanta. Got you know, I used to traffic cocaine. Got shot a couple <laughs> times. Got hit by a dump truck. Had two baby by a married man. Had a couple of STDs, and I turned my life around. <laughs> now you're a judge. Look at that. I'm a fucking judge. The least crazy. Craziest thing. I think I heard you got hit by a dump truck. Is uh, yeah, that right? Uh, for chasing a man. <laughs> Wait, what? You were chasing a man. <laughs> you were chasing a guy across the street and you got hit by a dump truck? No, uh, I was. Um, I jumped off a, a little overpath onto his car one time because I was in love with him. Okay. And he drugged me. 
Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you something. When you get a good black man that can't read and the sex is delicious, you will do some crazy <laughs> shit. Everybody was wondering what was wrong with Whitney Houston. I know what was wrong with Whitney Houston. <laughs> she got that ghetto pipe and it ain't got no turn off man. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Brown, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Putting it down. Bringing and the, the heat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. All right. So uh, who was in the house when, when you were growing up? Mom, dad, brothers, sisters? Give Just us mom, scoop. Uh, three brothers and a sister. Okay. Your okay. mom, three brothers and a sister. All right. And was this an apartment or a house? Uh, a fish, you see. We, well, one time we just lived where it was a living room and a kitchen and a bathroom. And then an okay. uh, uh, apartment. We were poor as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got evicted all the time, but we never got side outside on the street because my mama knew, she knew the system. So she'd be like, pack your shit. They be here in 29 days. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, whenever she we was moved, ahead of it. Yeah. Whenever we moved in, we really never unpacked. Sure. We just lived out of the pack shit. Damn. So we just put tape on it, put it in in our car and get the fuck out. <laughs> I respect the hustle, baby. Yeah. Damn. One step ahead. All okay. right. And this was all in inner city Atlanta. All yeah, these inner moves. city of Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. And that's where you live now. You live in you live in Atlanta. I now. live in Georgia. You live in I Georgia. don't live where I grew up at. Hey, <laughs> I, know, I, know. I know. Those <laughs> days are long behind you. <laughs> well, I can't. I can't afford it. They don't fucking gentrify it. When you bring a Starbucks and white people walking their dogs, there ain't no black folks shit going down over there, <laughs> baby. It's so much money to live in the West End now. Really? I called one day. They was like, uh, what they said, uh, fifty five hundred dollars. I said, but you ain't got rid of all the crackheads yet. <laughs> Not paying fifty five hundred dollars for no crackhead. Crack crack but you know, one thing about white America, y'all can see some shit happen. Y'all walk with y'all head up in the air and don't pay attention. Uh, yeah. Black folk be like, y'all don't see that shit going down. <laughs> no, we over see there. it. We, we're like a horse with blinders on. I just got to get to that no. Starbucks, get my macchiato, and call it. Trying day. to get that property value so up. That, so that it's still fifty five hundred dollars sometime to live in the West End, but all yeah. the riffraff ain't gone. And what? <laughs> so what did your mom do when you were a kid? Was she, what was she? What was she doing for a job? Uh, watching soap poppers. <laughs> okay. She literally watched the young and the restless. We lived off government assistance. Okay. And we just moved from place to place. Damn. And you, how, sorry, God, no, please. No, were you in school at all that time? Same school? Were you moving around? Or? We moved. Do you know what the good part about my mama? We would get evicted in the community. So we never had to change That's school. That's great. Ah, all right. So we changed address, <laughs> but we never Damn. changed school. Your mom had it all figured out. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's great. You still make the bus in the morning. This Let's been, go. Before they, check, they did uh, credit checks for you to move into a place. Sure. Oh, you got the money. Move the fuck in. Mm-hmm. Um, how were your grades growing up? Were you a good student? Uh... I don't think so. (laughs) 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 I I was all right. (laughs) Uh, One time, back in the day, and they can't do this shit today, but I'm 51, they would separate you from the A, B student, the Mm -hmm. C, D student, and just the dumbass student. (laughs) So I was in the C, D, or the dumbass student Mm -hmm. category, but I always wanted to be number one in anything I do. So I said, please, teacher, please let me read out the book we call Impression. And so she was like, I just love your willpower, Patricia. I got up in that group and I tried to read. I was so hard. The smart student was like, if you don't get this bitch out this group, <laughs> the teacher's like, you tried, baby. You tried. A you forever tried. for Miss Yes. Oh, any damn. sports growing up? Did you play any sports? No, I was pregnant too quick. Okay. I tried. My, <laughs> teacher, is- my teacher thought because I was so big and developed, you know, because I had titties and booties in the sixth grade. Mm-hmm. He was like, you should throw the disc. But at, I was like seven grade. You should throw the disc. But I was getting dick in real sure, life. Yeah, and yeah. it was not the same type of throw. <laughs> so I would throw that heavy ass metal. <laughs> too busy getting piped down back here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So what, age, what age did you get pregnant? I got pregnant at uh, 13. Okay. Gave birth at 14. Damn. 13 and 14. No, I got pregnant at 13, gave birth at 14. 14. Okay. Got pregnant at 14 and gave birth at 15. And did you stay? Did you stay? In, did you get your high school diploma? Did you stay? No, nah, I got GED. I got. I, st- I jumped out and started selling drugs. Okay. Crackhead <laughs> just hit the black community, and it was employing everybody in my community. Sure. A little startup action. All right. <laughs> get in on the ground floor. I like it. I got in on the ground floor too. <laughs>
Okay. All right. Were you making Were you making good money doing that? I was that? making a lot of fucking money. And were you still living at home with your mom? Nah, my mom was off on her own doing her thing. I I moved into a fucking nice ass apartment. I faked my ID and I always had big titties and a nice shape and I always act older. So I walked in there, forged me some check stubs and got my friend to answer the phone at the phone booth and say I worked there and I got an apartment. <laughs> Man, that's all right. Talk about working the system, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. All right. So, so you had the baby. You're about 15. You get your own place. I got two babies at 15. Two babies. Two babies at 15. You got your own place, and you're moving. You're moving a little action. I'm moving a little action. What I'm would making... you say you were bringing in a week, roughly? Uh, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, something like that. I made a lot of fucking a week. Money. Yeah, I had a partner. Jesus Christ. We made a shit ton of money. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Pat moving weight. <laughs> Guys, forget Patreon. We got to get into crack. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, wait, I nobody Patreon smoked was crack in no more. <laughs> all right. All right. Nobody smoked that shit anymore. It's like Bitcoin. It's yeah. Over. <laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> you missed the gold rush on it? Yeah. All right. So you're making huh. 15, 20 Gs a week. You're doing, you're, you're, you're doing well. What kind of car were you driving back then? I was driving a, uh, a 19, I want to say a 1986 Fleetwood Cadillac. And that's Ooh. back when drug dealers first came out. We had the big gold chain and everybody had that. Cadillac and mine was pearl white with flakes in it with, with uh, burgundy material with the soft uh, I don't know what they call that top the soft top yeah the rag top the rag top oh shit you've been there you've been somewhere <laughs> 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 you know I don't forget Kimmy used to be a pimp believe it or not <laughs> when I white... used to sell crack back in my day too Miss <laughs> when a white man can tell you it's a rag top on a golf <laughs> what the fuck I'm supposed to know that <laughs> So I, that's what I drove. Okay. Holy huh, shit. That's a nice car. Yeah. Huh. So I, I, I assume that jump was, was pretty crazy. You went from nothing to yes. Cadillac in yeah. like two years or whatever. Were you putting any of that money away? Were you saving yeah, any nobody, of it? They, they didn't teach you how to, they didn't teach, they don't teach you no savings in the hood. They sure. teach you to just be flashy. Michael Jordan that just came to the NBA. Everybody wanted <laughs> to join. You're at the precipice <laughs> of every big thing happening <laughs> in the black community. Yeah. Crack, Michael Jordan, drug dealing. <laughs> Thriller Mike, just dropped. Let's go. <laughs> Michael Jordan had just dropped his first pair. Well, FUBU was the shit. Then FUBU, after FUBU fuzz by us, sure. mm -hmm. that was like the first big black designer that yeah. we can remember. Then we ease on into Michael Jordan. I remember buying my first pair of Michael Jordan. You can tell me shit. They was $59.99. <laughs> the shit y'all paying for them shoes today, y'all are ridiculous. Yeah. Damn. Holy shit. All right. Hmm. So you got a nice place. Did you get a house or did you get another no, apartment? I just got an apartment. Who was, was who was living in that apartment with you? It was me and then I had my two kids and then my my sister in law, my, my baby dad, we were the one my sister in law, it was somebody else's husband, but my baby daddy's sister <laughs> okay. uh was on drugs, so I took in her three girls. Look at okay. You. Yeah, so that's my first set of crack babies that I raised. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sound like you make it sound like they're puppies or something. <laughs> no. Okay. Did you have any pets? Did you have any pets in the house? I couldn't afford no pets with no fucking children. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. shit don't go together. Sure. Huh. And how long did that did that last? That you were that you were that you were selling? Uh, I sold for about ten, ten, probably maybe ten to twelve years. Damn. I sold a while. This is all pre comedy. Oh yeah, this is way pre comedy. Okay, I was I I, now I I always been able to make people laugh, but I was just I was just I'm just outspoken, so I just say crazy shit. Uh huh. But I didn't think I was funny. Sure, I it's... thought I was a way better drug dealer. <laughs> well, you might have been. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> it sounds like you were doing pretty <laughs> well. Jeez, a week. That's eighties money too. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I had. I mean, I was living the life. I didn't. Do, I didn't do drugs. I just party. I mean, I don't even think I wasn't even twenty one. So I was crazy. getting in the club under age. Mm -hmm. I was buying clothes. I was having an apartment. We was just living the life. Were you? Were you guys going on vacations or anything like that? I, I, didn't nobody tell me people go on vacation. No, nothing. <laughs> All right. I wish like hell I had <laughs> went somewhere. I had never. I think the closest vacation was drive down to Florida and you out of Atlanta. You doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh. And where was the cash? Would you put it in a bank or would it be like in the house uh, in no, the wall? No, so you can't put no motherfucking cash sure. in the bank. All right. We would hide it in my friend's house. I, I kind of had a partner uh -huh. when I started to really rise, so we would hide it at his house. <laughs> hide it at my house. Okay. You know. 
I love that. That's Damn. crazy. You can't walk in the bank and say I got eighty thousand dollars and you black with, with gold around your neck. You yeah, going at, to at, fucking at, jail at seventeen. At, damn right. I think I was 16. Jeez. And you never got pinched. You got out clean, right? No, I went to prison. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I asked you about vacation. <laughs> that ain't no fucking vacation. <laughs> but I got to tell y'all this. I've told this story a hundred times. This is my favorite story because I couldn't drive. Mm-hmm. But I wanted a car and I had the money to buy a car. And so I really, at this point, I'm raising myself. So the crackhead was like, I teach you how to drive. So he would come pick me up in a jet or a stick at night. Mm-hmm. And he would take me around 285 and put my two kids in the back and they be cheering me on and he'd be in the passenger seat smoking crack out of a pipe and he would that's how i learned how to drive <laughs> from a crackhead <laughs> and my kids say tell him to put his cigarette i say, put the goddamn crack pipe down in front of my kids i want to put his cigarette out <laughs> My kids didn't know he was smoking crack. He blow, I'm blowing it out the wonder. My kids going to have crack in his system. Jesus. You talking about unfit. I was, but I love my kids, but I was unfit. Mm-hmm. And did they you, were young. Yeah, of course. When you got pinched, did you get to keep some of the money? Like, Did you have, no. the, did you have some of the money when you started in comedy? No. It all, it all went away. Oh, it all went away. You spend it all on lawyers okay. and dumb shit. And, okay. and plus, it stops coming in at that it point. It stopped so coming you're, you're in. Burning so it I did a year. There. For uh for selling drugs, well I went I actually I violated my pr- my probation because I I got caught with my cousin kissing the motherfucker in the car, so they pinned the dope on me. It really was my dope. People laying up on the hill watching the whole time with pictures. So I ended up going to prison for a year. I mean I got a year I got five years probation. I was like oh fuck you I'm on top of the world, and that bitch came and got me while I was at the welfare office applying for my welfare check. Jeez, damn. Wait, so you were under surveillance? They 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 got you with mm-hmm. pictures. Damn, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I, when I violated my probation, I had to do a year off the five years. Okay. And so I did a year in jail in Atlanta or in yeah Georgia. in a prison. Yeah, okay. And then so when you so you started over so you're starting over yet again. Well, my baby that. daddy kind of kept the trap going. So when I got out, <clears throat> I knew enough bigger drug dealers that were front. It's called front you. Okay, I give you this half a key. You give me this much Ms. money. Pat, who do you think you're talking to? You're talking, you think we don't know what front drugs <laughs> is? Uh, oh, I, I, I mean, you know what a rag top is. So let me stop talking like you don't know what yeah, the hell you're talking on. about. Check this guy for a wire. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would get fronted and get back on my feet. But at okay. that point, So you got out and sold drugs again. Hell you. yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, do just you th- trying to pin this timeline down. Do you think people get out and just... Stop. I don't know. Do people just, just because you lock a crackhead up don't mean they ain't going to smoke again. <laughs> True. You're right. <laughs> were, there okay. ever, were there ever any uh, straight jobs? Yeah. Growing I, up. I met a, no, uh, not, I met a. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said yes and backpedaled real quick, Miss Pat. Well, I met a, I met a, a guy, uh, my husband, who I'm still with after 31 years. And he, he, he didn't grow up him. like Great that. I met him. Great guy. Yeah, we yeah. met him. Yeah, yeah. He didn't grow up like that. He grew up in the church, mom and uh, daddy, middle class household. So he wasn't here in the drug. So he's like, look, you need to give all this shit up. And then I ended up working at McDonald's. But I always had a hustling spirit. So I figured out how to uh, go in. To the register and promo okay. all the food <laughs> and steal. Shit, I was making back in those days. You making four dollars an hour? That ain't no fucking money. I mean, when you come from making all this money as a drug dealer, uh-huh. so I I was like, McDonald ain't gonna miss none of these happy meals. I'm not. They're not getting the money for it. Mm-hmm. So if you order something, I could. Now one thing I could do back in the day, add really quick. I add that shit. Up. It's gonna be this. If it was cash, I hit promo, open that register, go in there, take the money, and give them their change. What were you pulling down a week there with that? Oh, a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> Did you ever get knocked doing that? No. Uh-uh. Damn. No, nah, I had that shit damn pay. Because when you don't just steal from a corporation like McDonald's, you get other people to steal with you. So everybody make a little bit. <laughs> you know, somebody interested in stealing the burgers, the cheese, the lettuce. I was interested in the cash register. Sure, you guys can keep I the got, fries. <laughs> I got food stamps. I could, I could buy that crap at Kroger. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Kroger. That's all right. Okay. The Kroger was your grocery store growing up. Ah, uh, yeah. Kroger, Piggly Wiggly. You know, I'm from the South. Sure. Okay. And where are you shopping nowadays? Where are you food shopping now? Uh, Publix. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, I still like Walmart. You okay. Know. Nothing I go wrong anywhere. With it. And are you going to do it yourself? I do. I, and people that. be shocked. They was like, you in the store? Yeah, bitch, you in the store? <laughs> I got to eat, too. Sure, sure, sure. They be shocked, like, you shop for yourself. Why am I going to pay somebody to come up here? 
I know how to do this. Of course, you're not wrong. Yeah, you can't, you know, people think because you got money, <clears throat> you know, money do make you lazy. It do, because people will wait on your hand and foot if you can if you can afford it. But I don't want all them people in my house. Then they be done, got a hold to my husband. I can't be following these young girls. I got vertigo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. You don't want young girls around the house is what No, is. they titties set up straight. They stuff tighter. They don't leak. I can't compete with that stuff. I re- I, I, hey, I respect it. Yeah. Start playing defense. Yeah, I can't. I don't need no nanny. My kid can take care of their damn self. <laughs> Kevin, let's talk about Sheaf. Shout out to... The OG Sheath. Yeah. Baby. Ben with us from Jump Street. Uh huh. And I'll tell you what. What? I know they sent you over a pair back then. You probably still got them. Mm-hmm. They're still fantastic. Yeah. I only had to throw away one pair because I got too fat for the waistband. But everything else has been staying for three years. The most reliable underwear on the market, gang. Mm-hmm. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself some sheath. Again, holiday season coming up. You want to make sure you got enough undies. You want durable undies that are going to last and not leave your, leave your, leave your nuts hanging out there in the breeze. <laughs> your twig. And berries. So get some sheath. Uh, yeah, it was created by U.S. Sergeant Robert Patton. Sheath was made to withstand the heat of the Iraqi desert, so you know it's going to keep you cool when you're hitting a treadmill Let's and an air-conditioned gyms. Also, they got two pockets, one for your one for your twig and one for your berries. Sometimes I put two berries in one. Sometimes I put one twig and one berry. I mix it up. You can't. You knows what's going on down there. Puts here. one in his ear like it's a headphone. Uh, my, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a long ball, Larry. Uh... <laughs> My D and my B's feel amazing. I call it my sexy underwear. I walk around there. I'm strutting my thing. Fucking take a shot at the lady. <laughs> Go to sheathunderwear.com and use the code GARBAGE. You get 20% off your first order. Plus, sheath, sheath underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code GARBAGE. Get sheath underwear. Support the show. Support your balls. Do it. Yeah. Kev, let's talk about this plate. Shout out to this plate, baby. Yeah, what are you guys using out there? You still using old paper posters like a bozo? Like a stoner? All dog ears, putting putting pins in the wall and stuff like that. You're going to get jammed up on a deposit. Mm-hmm. Get this plate, metal posters. They go on the wall in about two seconds. It's all magnet technology. Plus, they got them licensing deals. Mm-hmm. You got Marvel, you got Star Wars, you got your favorite shows. All the cool stuff. Do yourself a fever. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Not only will this plate look cool in your home, They'll also make great gifts. You give them to the kiddies. You got nieces and nephews. You want to wow your niece and nephew? Hit them with a GD display, baby. There you go. A gosh darn display. Though it'll knock their socks. Or be going to school bragging. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe even fucking land a little lady or something. <laughs> Come over, check out the display. That'll get all the neighborhood kids riled up. Uh, your poster comes with everything you'll need to hang it immediately. Just pop. <clears throat> Just pop the included magnet on your wall, set the display to it, and you're all set. Here you go. Here's the turkey. Thank you, Display, for f- sponsoring our show. We love you. Yeah. Use code GARBAGE or click the link in our description, and you'll get to, to whoop, pull that back. Use the code GARBAGE or click the link in our description to get yourself and your friends' displays up to 30% off. There you go. This is a special discount that's only available for a limited time. Your discount will be automatically applied to your cart. Do it. <laughs> who's who's living with you now? <laughs> you and your husband? No, me and my husband, and I have custody of my niece kids. So I have four nukes, my last set of crack babies. Okay. And how old are they? Uh, 11, I mean, I'm sorry, 15, 12, 11, and I think nine. And then I have wow. my 24-year-old daughter who writes on the show. She lives there. Okay. And my son, Jumba, who y'all saw get drunk at, at the thing. Sure. Yeah, him. He lives there, too. Okay. Okay. Is it a big house? I just built it. 17,000 square feet. What? That's a big house. There you, you go. You live in New York or so anything big. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we all live here. <laughs> <laughs> shit, a tent is bigger than some of the shit I see. <laughs> 17,000 square feet. And I did it. I, You know, I didn't hire a contractor. My husband's like, you're crazy. I saved the cash. I did the budget. And I said, this is what I want. So, And I said, well, if I go out and get a contractor, I'm going to have to give him 20% of the budget. Mm-hmm. That could be a nicer faucet for me. And so I'm a DIYer, so okay. that's what I do. I love to DIY mm-hmm. before all of this, uh, my career really took off. So I was like, I'm, I said, my husband said, I said, we did the first season of Miss Pat show. I said, I'm not coming back to Indiana. I can't take no more snow. I can't take no more. I got to be around all That's types where of you people. were. You were in Indiana. 15 years with my husband. He worked for General Motors. Okay. Gotcha. And so we moved. Uh, I came and shot the first season of Miss Pat show in Atlanta. I called my husband. Uh, like, uh, remember that movie, Harlem Nights? He said, I ain't coming back, Sunshine Pussy yes. So Good. Mm-hmm. So I said, I ain't coming back. I said, I'm not, I said, you can pack up, you can retire and leave. I said, but I'm not coming back. 
And so I said, what do you, what can I do to get you to retire early and come mm-hmm. to Atlanta? He said, well, I don't want to live in the city. I want some land. I found seven acres for 400 and some thousand dollars. It was a house sitting there, 3,500 square feet. I knocked that bitch down. <laughs> Damn, I had it that's some out, boss shit. And I hired an architect, and I went forward. Crazy. It's up now. We should be moving in next month. Yeah, there let's you go. go. Cool. There you go. Look at it. Killing it. What's so, your, hold on, sorry. What About that, you custom designed the house, right? The I did. I custom. What's I, your favorite thing in the house? You're like, I have to have this. Oh, kind of new money shit. Oh, new money. So. <laughs> <laughs> Something's in there. You don't have a 17,000 square foot house without some new money shit in there, Miss so Pat. So I bought this faucet. And it's called, I think it's called Winter Sport. I don't know. Uh, let me show it to you. Yeah. So the faucet is $5,500. A faucet. A faucet. A faucet. A in the kitchen? Fa- in the bathroom? In the kitchen faucet. Okay. Kitchen, okay. So I, I have to get the name. I don't remember the name of it, but it's a custom faucet. And I've just, I was going on TikTok when I said, oh my God, I got to have that. Mm-hmm. So I didn't buy one, I bought two. Are they but where are they both in the kitchen? Well, so I have a the kitchen is two islands, two big old gigantic islands. Nice. And so I have one on one island, and I have one uh, on the island that the kids sit at. Got that, dude. Two uh, double islands. There I got go. double islands. So when you started That's comedy, right. were, you, were you in Indiana? I was in Atlanta. You were I'm in born Atlanta. And, raised, and my husband's job, General Motors, closed in Atlanta and transferred gotcha. us to Indiana. Okay. He so, didn't want. We didn't. We, we didn't have the money for him to take the buy out. So then you started. You started touring and everything from from out of Indiana. Yeah. And then, so you're grinding it out the whole time. Yep. I get on the Bob and Tom show and get a whole new audience. Okay. After the Bob and Tom show. Yeah. Got it. And then you get the Miss Pat show, and that, that's when everything started to change. That's when everything changed. Gotcha. That's when I, and I never went back to Indiana. What year is yeah. this? Uh, five years ago. What is five years Crazy. ago? Yeah, it's 2018, 17, something Yeah, like that. so I started pitching the show around 2015. Mm-hmm. I did Joe Rogan podcast and Mark Maron. Mm-hmm. Hollywood immediately called and said, we want to give you a TV show. So I had all these studio meetings. You know, I'm just a little girl from the West. I don't want to hear this crop of crap. You know what I'm saying? Don't be up here wasting my time. <laughs> so, you know, I don't I know. Love how, like, all these big wigs are rolling out, you know, throwing everything at you. Like, don't be wasting my time now. Yeah, so. So I go in and I go to um I go to um Run Howard Studio, mm-hmm. and um one of his exec heard me tell my story on on Joe Rogan podcast. Mm-hmm. He said I couldn't get out of the car. He immediately called me. His name is John Rattler. We we family now, and I hated him. <laughs> I w- Cause you know what I'm from the south, and you know my mama did re- raise us somewhat decent. Sure. And he put his foot on the table, and I wanted to fucking choke him out. <laughs> How dare you put your feet on my on furniture? Mm-hmm. That is so disrespectful. Sure. Wait, was this at your house or? At- no, it was at their office. <laughs> okay. Still, it's not even your table. And yeah, it wasn't in. even my table. And I wanted to kill him. Uh-huh. And you know, my son used to, when I moved to Indiana. My son really. St- I don't care who you date. I don't. I, I'm not gonna say I don't see color because. I do. We're fucking culturally different. Sure. Let's be honest. You know, well, you two, not yeah. me and you were the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> you, you, you date a black woman, it's totally different from dating a white woman. Of course. Yeah. My son bring home these white girls in Indiana because we live in an all white neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't have a problem with white women, but white kids ain't raised like black kids. Sure. Like, I come home from Taco Bell, because after, you know, I'm working at Taco Bell trying to make it as a comedian. I walk in, he got this beautiful blonde little white girl, feet laid in his lap, and she don't even fucking speak to me. So I walk in, I say, white bitch, go home. You don't got no manners. Go the fuck home. I walk in, you speak to me. Sure, uh, hello. How you hello, doing, Miss Pat? And get your feet off my fucking couch, uh, okay. you white bitch. <laughs> so I told him, I said, if you going to date white women, you need to give them OJ book on how to date a <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, that's the wrong word. No, it's okay. How, how to it's date okay. a Negro, a it's black okay. person. I'm all, okay. You can edit it. We have to bleep it for YouTube purposes. But yeah. sure, I, I, yeah. I understand the sentence. How to yeah. date a black person. You don't just not speak to some black yeah. mama. Sure, walking in from a long day at Taco yeah. Bell. I say, yeah, I say. <laughs> you say a, hello. Get a white girl that know how to say hello to your black mama. <laughs> Were you still working at Taco Bell when when you got these meetings? When you were getting these meetings? Mm-hmm. No Jesus. shit. Yeah. So, uh, well, so that's amazing. What it's happened crazy. was I'm at the comedy club in Indiana called Mort- Morty's at the time, and so one of the comedians was like, "You know, um, I cannot think of. I always cannot think of this guy name, and I hate it. This is when podcasts first stopped. White boys were popping off with podcasts. Sure. Shout and out yeah. to it, gang. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said it, sister. <laughs> Let's go. Dang it, I cannot think of his name, and I hate it. I can't think of his name. He was a it, podcaster? He was a podcaster. He was um, 
with uh, Eddie. Eddie If. Yeah, yeah, Eddie yeah. If. That's who the first podcast I ever done. Okay. And so one of the comedians said, Eddie If is looking for somebody with some real stories. I told him he should interview you. I said, to do what? He said, podcast. What the fuck is a podcast? Well, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're, what allowed, the hell? you're allowed to curse. What, yeah, what, yeah. what the hell is a podcast? He was like, you got to go do it, Miss Pat. I'm telling you, a takeoff. So I did it, uh -huh. and I killed it. And and I thought it was weird because they was doing some of the crazy stuff at Eddie If podcast, right. and I was out of place. But I did it, and it was funny. Immediately. All the white boys started calling me. Mm -hmm. So my, the guy who ran the club, he said, if Joe Rogan call you, you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, who is Joe Rogan? <laughs> 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 so when he showed me the picture, I said, the guy from uh, Fear uh, Factor, Fear Factor <laughs> yeah. what happened to his hair? Uh -huh. It's because I didn't know the comedy world, uh -huh. you know. Sure, the, that, yeah, that comedy this, world. You know, the white part of the comedy sure. world. Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can say, yeah. <laughs> so I started doing all these podcasts and <laughs> And so Mark Marin called mm -hmm. before Joe Rogan called. Okay. Uh, no, Mark, Joe Rogan called first. I can't remember either one. And we ended up shooting Eddie. Uh, uh, we ended up shooting. Uh, what's that show? The stand-up show about stories. Ari. Ari. Ari show. Shafir. Ari Shafir. I met Ari Shafir. We sat in the. Uh, we sat in the park, and I said the weirdest crap to him. I was like. I didn't know it was a lot of Jews. I thought it was only Jesus because we only had that one on the wall. Mm -hmm. And so we sitting in the park and all of these people walking around with them little curly fries down their face. Okay. And so he out there expl explaining to me they're different from him. And I'm like, I'm confused. Uh-huh, sure. And, and I didn't know. I just, I, my mama told me it was just one and it was Jesus Christ. So I was blown away. Uh, you were told Jesus Christ was the only Jewish guy. <laughs> Jewish guy. And then you, see, then you see all these Hasidics walking around with Ari. And you have to, okay. All right, yeah. So, <laughs> so I go back. I say, did y'all know it was a lot of Jewish people in this world? Because <laughs> I'm so naive. <laughs> <laughs> Ari took it a lot better than y'all. Y'all look like y'all scared. No, no, I just took me a minute. To... Also, <laughs> I mean... so, so... <laughs> also to be shocked, there's more than one Jewish guy to me. <laughs> it's crazy. Thing I My... <laughs> but I was. I like how you reported back to, <laughs> to all your black family. Like, you know, there's My there's more like, there's more than more than one Jewish like, guy. I don't know nothing about entertainment. Uh, sure. So. <laughs> Man, I ended up, attack. we shoot we shoot the show, and I do an episode with Martin Mayer and Joe Rogan. And uh, Joe Rogan had just did it, Martin Mayer. He was, no, Martin Mayer was telling Joe Rogan, you got to have on. Mm -hmm. So just so happened, they kind of dropped around the same time, and I got a book deal off of Martin Mayer. No and Hollywood just came knocking. And I didn't know what to say to Hollywood, so I said, I'm just going to be myself. And that's what they purchased was me. That's amazing. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say purchase. But yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what they invested in. They invested in. They invested <sighs> in Miss Pat. Yeah, and then they allowed me to be who I am. That's amazing. And it took off. I love I love those stories where it's like you were probably killing for. I mean, you're so fun. You're so naturally funny. So you were probably killing for you know for a long time in yeah. obscurity, and then all of a sudden it's like. You're so ready, and all these, you know, all these things start happening. It's great. Well, you know, I, the good part about it, I was a touring comedian. Sure, I was out there working on my hour, uh, or two hours, and and I was I was really ready. Of course, yeah. And so then you get I the had, call, yeah. I get the call, and and I knew what I wanted the show to be, and we ended up going through two two writers, and we found that third writer, the great. You know, the blessing the part of the blessing part about the Miss Pat show. That show got dropped three times by Fox. Fox no picked way. that show up three times. We went through three writers. Jeez. And the third writer said, listen, Fox, you got something here. 22-year-old kid, Jordan Cooper, he said, y'all need to let her be her. Mm -hmm. And this is how this show is going to be successful. So Fox agreed to sell it to streaming platforms, and Hulu bought it. Great. I, Hulu buy and the first thing come out my word is the N-word. And that man said, hell no, not <laughs> over here. <laughs> He's trying to get dropped again. <laughs> <laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> they dropped it. I think I scared the exec over at Hulu so bad sure. with the content, but it was so funny. Of course. I'm a black mama. I'm a mama that a lot of people know. I said, he don't understand me, and, and, and he's not going to pick up the show. And I knew it in my heart. He was not going to pick up the show. But I never not believed that the show would get picked up somewhere. And so BET Plus came knocking. And I, I love telling this story. I had no, no idea that it was a BET Plus because yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't watch BET. Mm -hmm. At the time, I didn't. And I was like, where they get a plus from? <laughs> and so my, my co-creator who's into TV, he said, hey, they have less than a million 
survivors. We're going to die. And I said, we're not going to die. I said, one thing I know about crack, two things you ain't never seen a commercial for is crack and Waffle House. Mm -hmm. And they outsells everything. <laughs> yeah, they're killing I it. said, if we create crack and Waffle House, we got them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should be running a Fortune 500 company. It's crazy. Uh, and they love it. We created Crack and Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, my head I know. Oh, and so God. we're in our fourth season. We've been nominated for an Emmy twice. BET first Emmy nomination. That's amazing. Let's go. Congratulations. And we got nominated last year and this year. That's great. And you know, we didn't win. And it wasn't even about the win for me. It was me sitting at the Emmy, a little old black girl from the inner city of Atlanta with an eighth grade education, up with her, my name is Miss Pat, sure. seeing me up against Ted Lasso, um, uh, so many other That's great amazing. shows. And I was like, I don't even need the Emmy. Yeah, he been I'm here in the game. Working yeah. at Taco Bell four years ago or yeah. three years ago. I'm in the game. I Crazy. mean, you cannot deny that I'm a part of this situation. Yeah. I might be on a smaller platform, but I'm here to wrestle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll your sleeves up and let's get to it. Yes. We got, we got cracked the bag. <laughs> yes. And Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso won, but I didn't even care because I was in the mix. Yeah, that's amazing. It's and I got to go to the Emmy. The food was good. I put some snacks <laughs> My purse. Did you? Yeah, What'd I you? ate my ass off what, that night. What was the food? At the, what's the food at the Emmys? <laughs> um, fancy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was an unseasoned fancy. You know how you can go places you're like who the hell eat this? Mm -hmm. It wasn't that type. It was good. It, we would have ate good that night. <laughs> <laughs> you're walking around the Emmys eating shrimp cocktail, telling Jason Sudeikis to take his shoes off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I, I don't like shrimp cocktail. I don't like that raw. You know, but they, they had some steak shrimp <laughs> sandwich to die for. And I didn't want to seem too greedy, so I was telling the people who didn't want to eat, who just wanted to drink, I was like, go get another sandwich. Mm -hmm. Go get another yeah, sandwich. Go it was good. Another. Okay. What's what is – oh, sorry. What is your favorite restaurant? What's Yeah, a nice restaurant you're going. You're going out to dinner. You're celebrating. It's a birthday. Where are you going? If I'm here in L – if I'm in L.A., it's uh, Crest Station. Crustacean. Crustacean. Well, my, yeah, if you want to be fancy. But semi fancy is Chick fil A. I talk about it. <laughs> semi fancy. <laughs> While I do love a good Chick fil A. Let's get into some cues. Let's sure. Some some You've already question. turned the game upside yeah. down, which I love. We love it. What a come up story. That's it's unbelievable. Uh, I have one where we're still kind of in the vein. You talked about the house, the faucet. Has there, was there any other big, dumb purchase you made when you got your first big check? From comedy? Uh, dumb? Yeah, or that you were like, look back, you're like, oh, I didn't need... Like a jet ski, uh, crazy no. vacation, anything like that. Oh, well, I took the family to Hawaii. I think the oh, big... Wow. The, uh, I took like 20-some people to Hawaii, but... <laughs> you were, you I, rolled deep, by the say, way. That's a oh, big I rolled deep. We were with you on the cruise. You said you brought 20... 22. 22 people. You 22 black deep. people <laughs> to a cruise of 3,000 white people. We had to put the flavor in the building. <laughs> You think I'm going to listen to John Mellencamp every damn night? <laughs> Are you crazy? I say, Cypher Sal, can you blacken it up? <laughs> Next thing I know, we were like, wait, yeah. sir. Sure. Your family came up and took over the stage at one point. Yeah, it was great. Um, I think the I think I ain't gonna say it's dumb, but I just wanted it because you know I like walking in the store with no bra on, right? Okay, and my yeah. wig about I mean, hey, who doesn't? matted up, and mm -hmm. I don't like. I, I just when I go shopping, I want you to treat me like you would treat somebody who's rich, so you don't know me, mm -hmm. you don't recognize me. So I walks in Chanel one day, and um, you know I I like Chanel, I do. And I said, I want that bag right there. Immediately, security starts scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> red team, go. Red team, go. You know, I don't. I can't fault them because people are running out of stores with high-end bags. Sure. But I didn't care. I just pulled out my American Express card, and I said, I'll take that. They said, do you, you do know this is uh, $12,000 mm -hmm. without taxes? I said, yeah, and be sure to put the taxes on there because I like our president. <laughs> <laughs> so I paid, spent a little bit over $13,000 for a pocketbook. Okay. Okay. Damn. How long ago was this? Uh, I have a couple of them now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you like Chanel? I do. I like high, but I've always liked high end bags. And when I couldn't afford them, of course, I got the best knockoffs. Sure. But uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> now that I sell tickets, I know how Chanel and Gucci and Louis Vuitton feel. You know, I don't want nobody knocking off my tickets, so I don't knock off oh, they stuff. Sure. Anymore. I really respect the game. I get it. I like it. Uh, I like it. Okay. Hmm. All right. What uh? Why why we're on bags? What kind of luggage do you have? You travel a lot. 
You got nice, did you go nice luggage? Uh, I have a few uh, Louis Vuitton luggage, but, you know, that's you like vacation. Damn. You got the Louis Vuitton luggage? Yeah, but that's only for vacation. Like, when I'm doing gigs and I'm taking my merch with me, I just buy bags. Cause, boy, Delta don't care how they break the wheels off yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they get all they But all I'm petty. Stuff. You break my luggage, I call in a claim. <laughs> <laughs> they give me $130 all the time. <laughs> you tear my stuff up, you going to give me the money to replace it. Okay. And sometimes my sister be looking at me like, oh, you can afford I don't. Don't care. Yeah, Delta I can afford care. it too. Yeah, and yeah. I'd be like, it was three hundred dollars, and I make me a receipt and I send it to Delta. Is that how you feel? You fly Delta. You're a, you're a Delta. I'm a Delta. I'm a three sixty. Atlanta, you gotta be. We're Delta as well. I'm three sixty. What's three sixty? Oh, that's that's the that's height. a butts above uh, diamond, right? Yeah. Woo! Man, All right. I'm platinum. I Flying up front, I assume. Always. Yeah. Okay. The day I can't afford to fly in front of them, I don't know what I'm going to do in the bag. <laughs> yeah, no, we're the same way. We're blowing all of our money on first class tickets, but it feels oh, nice. I can't. I haven't been in the back in so long. And I tell you how I became first class because after I started pitching the show, everybody would fly me on Delta. Uh, and the next thing I know, they was always first class. I was like, wait a minute. This is nice. <laughs> you ain't got no fat dude that's in the middle that can't fit. Yeah, I between your, us. Oh, yeah. yeah, I resent that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I haven't been a person in the middle of me in a long time. Sure, sure. So I, I like, I'm, I'm spoiling myself. Of I feel course. like I worked I think hard. You should, yeah, and I'm, I'm, go- that's what I'm gonna do. I res- yeah, I love that. That's, that's, that's great. Hmm. Uh, what kind of perfume do you like? Do you use perfume? Yeah, but I can't never pronounce the name of them. <laughs> <laughs> Bar- Baraki or something like that. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. They asked my sister what's the name of the perfume I buy. Okay. Somebody gave it to me for a gift. Uh-huh. And then I Googled it. It was $300 a bottle. Damn. So I, I love it. You got a nice, you do have a nice uh, aroma to you. Thank you. Yeah. I washed this morning. Fragrance. <laughs> Fragrance is the word yeah. I'm looking for. You shower at night or shower in the morning? Oh, no. I cannot take no shower at night. No shower at night. Shower no. in the morning. Yeah, I have to sleep on it dirty because if I don't, I, wait, I, I oversleep. Okay. Oh, okay. I oversleep when I'm clean. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was telling somebody that. I was like, what? Crazy. <laughs> I've never crazy. heard that sentence. But ever. I kind of get it. I get what you're saying. You're too comfortable. You're all, you'll oversleep. Yeah, I don't like showering. That, and that, if my husband was going to do something, I'll shower at night. <laughs> but if we. He's going to break you off a piece. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no sense of wasting no water if you ain't going to do nothing. You might as well sleep on today's and then wash it all off tomorrow. Sure, sure. How's the shower at the new house? You had the custom built, I assume? Yes, it's uh, two shower heads, what, four shower heads, Damn. some sprayers. It's got... Um, heated uh, floors? Heated floors, and it's got a, it's a steamer. Wow, that's all right. His and her sinks in the, in the bathroom? Uh, two sinks or one sink? No, two sinks and two toilets. Two toilets? Two toilets? Yeah, I don't know why I want to smell that mess no more. I want to be in peace. <laughs> Is the toilet in like another set? Like well, he's clothes? on one side and I'm on the other side. Man, and really? Then I have my closet and his closet is down the other hall. Walk-in closets, I assume. Uh, my closet is probably half of this room. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. Damn, yeah. Miss Pat's doing it right. I love it. How about the how about the bed? King size bed? King size bed. Yeah. Okay. Well, how many- I have, he I have a room with my husband. And then when I don't like him, I go into my own bedroom. So I have another bedroom. You got two bedrooms? Well. I have three masters on the main, so I made one of the masters mine when I don't want him snoring. And my husband is on a zipper field like you. Okay. And he, you burp. He passed gas and he burp, and that mess will light a that will tear oh, the roof bad. off a house. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, I think I just rather have you fat than the smell, cause it's like it's like a toxic. It smells like sewage. Yes, it's worse than sewage. It's bad. And then it's silent. Mm-hmm. I don't know why zip it make it silent. <laughs> yeah. But he's lost like 50 pounds. I'm like, when do you get off this mess? Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> and then he get mad at you. And it, I'm telling you, the air freshener won't even kill him. <laughs> Febreze don't stand a chance. No, I mean, I'm black, so I burn incense, mm-hmm. right? You know, they sure. got some incense called black pussy. So <laughs> I can't. You never seen those? No, I haven't seen those. Google it. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. It's just going to take me to Pornhub. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. I can't believe put, I'm actually put Googling black pussy incense. I'm telling you. So I burn them, and it still don't kill his odor. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> she wasn't Aroma lying. Aroma Depot, you can, yeah. You can get it on home. You can get it on Amazon. <sighs> you should buy some. I don't think my, right. my wife might get upset about it, but all right. <laughs> well, they might have some for the white, too. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, G, you can change the name on the label. <laughs> hey, pussy's pussy where I come from. <laughs> it all peak on the inside. <laughs> and it all gonna piss on you. <laughs> I don't know what you talk about. Uh, <laughs> Your wife got, got babies? <laughs> no. Oh, well, wait till she have a baby. She's going to leak in the front and the back. Jesus. Oh, my God. <sighs> also, one of the things you do Google Black Pussy Incense, it's in your... You, you, what, something from you pops up. It's in your Reddit. It's in your Reddit, I swear <laughs> to God. This is the second thing. The first, yeah, Black Pussy Incense. I think Ms. I Pat told Reddit. somebody else that story, but yeah, I, I burn them all the time. You can buy them on the street. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all laughing at? You You're can't like, buy that Walmart. <laughs> this is this is some hood stuff. Uh huh. Sure. <sighs> All okay. Right. All right. You how can many, get the body oil too? How many pillows you keep on the bed? Uh, probably six to eight. And how many do you sleep with? You sleep on your side and your back on your stomach. Well, I'm top heavy, so I take my bra off and get my bra, get my my top a let, pillow. Okay. And then I put one between my legs and up under my head. All right, one between your legs. I like that. A fan on when you sleep? No, my husband do. I hate cold air. I like to be hot. That's okay. Crazy. And my husband would have a ceiling fan on, the air conditioner on, and another fan. I said, dude, if you that hot, you might be about to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> He be sweating in his sleep. <laughs> you sleep with the TV on? Uh, he don't. He like the dark. But I'm. I've been robbed a couple times. So, <laughs> I figure you had a TV on, so somebody said, "Get it up!" And you open up your eye, you can at least identify. Sure, if, sure. In the dark, you don't know who robbed you. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it for security purposes. Do you keep amazing. anything by the bed for security purposes? No, he do. He keep a shotgun and all okay. kinds. I don't, I'm a convicted felon. If I shoot somebody, I'm going to jail, even in self-defense. Sure. I usually keep water, snacks, you know, if I roll over and eat. <laughs> I keep stuff to eat. While he's shooting him, I'm going to eat and watch TV. Do you guys eat in bed? Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, we lazy now. We got that bed to let your head up so you can burp and eat. And when you digest, yeah, lay your back, lay down. back down. Do you, okay. have a, do you have a fridge in the bedroom? In my new one, yes. You do? You full do. size? I have a full size no mini bar. Shit. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> no, not, no. <laughs> it's like the Delta Lounge in there. <laughs> it's what it's going to look like. <laughs> I have three refrigerators in my kitchen because I have a pantry that's almost the same size of the refrigerator. I mean, of the kitchen. Uh -huh. So I have a, uh, I have three dishwashers and three refrigerators. Three dishwashers. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Man, you're gonna you host all the family functions, I assume. Thanksgiving, my family all that crack. stuff. They not coming to my house to steal my stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna cook for friends. You cook for okay. friends, so no yeah. family is allowed over. Not much. Not much. Like my sister just, uh, my sister just, uh, she. My sister's a crackhead, so she was in a rehab. She got put out because mm -hmm. she said they put me out for because I smoked a little crack. <laughs> Generally <So>. frowned upon. <laughs> it's so, a little bit. What's a little crack between friends? But you're supposed to be at the rehab. Uh -huh. Right. So I just don't let my family come over. Sure. Smart. Smart. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. At New House, have a, have a pool? It do have a pool. Okay. They have a pool. They have an in-ground trampoline. In-ground trampoline. Really? It, yes. Hot it, tub? It has a, a hot tub Okay. It. it. has two sun shelves in the pool. In-ground pool, I assume. In oh, yeah. I ain't doing that white <laughs> trash, man. <laughs> Putting the deck around on top of the grass pool. Everybody float down the street. I ain't doing that. <laughs> that white trash. I want my pool in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't get to my breath. Uh, okay, is, it, is that fresh water or salt water pool? Salt water. Yeah, yeah so I can doing it. it. Yeah. What are you driving around in now? What kind of car you got? <laughs> Go ahead. It's something nice. I have a 2023 G Wagon. <laughs> Let's go. That's, talk to your accountant. You can write that whole thing off because it's I over six thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Miss Pat's playing checkers out or chess out here. Housekeeper at the house. I, I do have a housekeeper, okay. but not at the house. She's just coming clean. She, <laughs> She's not staying there. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. All right. <laughs> but we clean most of the time. My husband sure. is military, so, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Keeps it tight. Yeah, he keeps it pretty tight. Do you All open right. your eyes underwater in the pool? For what? <laughs> I ain't no damn fish. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open your eyes up on the wall? Who would do that? I do it. Well, I want to know what's happening down well, there. Is that why your eyes are gray? <laughs> you burnt your pupils out. 
You nosy, boy. White people show him nosy. I'm not opening my damn house. No salt water, no chlorine. You that nosy? No. Oh, man. I don't know anybody. That might have been my favorite response ever. Yeah, dude, my sides honestly hurt. <laughs> How do you like your steak cooked? I don't eat. I don't like steak. <laughs> okay. How do you what, f- how do you feel about the rotisserie chicken? I like rotisserie chicken. Mm-hmm. How do you get your How do you like your eggs cooked? Scrambled with cheese. All right. I hate a fried egg. Fried egg remind me of being poor. Okay. Come on, mama used to fry eggs all the time. I'm like, hey, just scramble them like they do on the young and the restless. <laughs> I don't want no damn fried egg. I hate a fried egg. Okay. I hate stuff that remind me of being really poor. Like, I, if I go down the aisle and there's spam and polished meat, mm-hmm. it upsets sure. me. I can't eat sunbeam white bread because I ate it as a kid. So much, yeah. And it stick to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> so back in the day, it will make you choke. Yeah. So I don't eat. Sun, I don't eat white bread. Okay. What do you like now? Multi grain. Yeah, wheat. Okay. Multigrain. All right. What kind of toothpaste are you rocking at the house? Uh, something with a uh, whitening in it. Okay. I, can't, I I am allergic to off-brand stuff because I grew up so poor, mm-hmm. and my husband is military, so he love like he won't buy Oreos, but he'll buy Twist and Shout, and we argue all the time. You got Oreo money? Yes. What are we doing? You got a seventeen thousand square foot house? Get the fucking Oreos. He will buy can he will buy canned goods with no label because they be in a little basket at the mm-hmm. grocery store. Guess what this is? And I'm like, if you got one more time to bring that crap to my house and give me flashback, I'm killing everybody. <laughs> Wait, so he'll just buy a random can and not he know what it care. is? He don't care. He don't care. He don't care. I mean, he's he used to be really bad, like off-brand uh, potatoes or off-brand uh, green beans. I, I cannot eat off-brand food. Yeah. It bothers me. You don't go for any of that. No. If we were at, if we came over to the house and you offered us a glass of water, what would it be? Would it be out of the tap? Would it be a Brita? Would it be, be a, a bottle? bottle? It would be a bottle. It'd be a bottle. You got yeah. sparkling? I love sparkling. Yeah. You, when, you you, to, when you, you go to when you go. You Come. put um, uh, crystal light in, it's banging. Damn. Oh, whoa. You're doing crystal light and like Pellegrino or something? Yes. That's pretty good. That is, that is the duality of class and trash <laughs> yeah, right there. Awesome. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> when you go to a restaurant and they say, what kind of water do you want? You get, you're getting a bottle of Pellegrino? I won't drink tap water. You won't let drink me tell you water. why I won't drink tap water. So when I was a little girl, they didn't care anything about the poor. And poor don't have to be no color. Just poor. Yeah. So they just take you on these feet free field trips and one of the free field trips in Atlanta was to the Atlanta Waterworks and they take you hey black kids poor kids this is our water mate and you just see turds soaking uh. and I was like what the hell did they take come on over here and they take you a fresh glass of water I was like but we were just over there mm-hmm. so that <laughs> <laughs> I hate tap water because they took me on that field trip every year to show me that we drinking leftover tubs. Yeah, ooh, I don't like that. I can't, I, I can't know that. Okay. Yes, and so I was like, why would you do that to us? Mm-hmm. So I, 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 I can't drink tap water. Will you eat in the car? Do you guys eat in the car now? Will you eat in the I G-Wagon? eat in the car. Yes, I do. Favorite fast food? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Do you do the drive through or do you go in? Oh, it's too many Christians on the inside. <laughs> My son used to, I, used, I love Chick-fil-A so much, I made my son work at Chick-fil-A in Indiana. Mm-hmm. And when he quit, because I had a 30% discount. So when he quit, <laughs> when That's he pretty quit. pretty good, dude, 30%. When he quit, I was so I wanted to beat him. And I said, why did you quit my favorite job? He said, because it was no longer my pleasure. Ah, uh, because that's been their pleasure. It's been my pleasure. And right? he had worked out through, all through high school. Damn. Hmm. Will you get cash back when you go and you make a purchase with your debit card? Will you get cash back from the register? No. No? Okay. Mm-hmm. None of my cards you can get cash on. I don't have a PIN number. You don't have a debit card. I got one, but I don't have a PIN number to it. Really? Never sent one. So if you rob me, you take me to the PIN, I'm like, you going to take me to your house. You going to take me inside the bank. I don't know no PIN number. So no ATMs. You use all all, all, all credit cards mm-hmm. or, or your debit card. Well, yeah, I just use American Express. Play with them if you want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Yeah, American Express will figure it the fuck out. Yeah. They are not the one. They're not Visa. They're not MasterCard. They're American Express. 
and they ask you for all their money within 30 days. Yeah, yeah. they do. And and they, they want it. And you don't never hear nobody, they hacked my American Express card. You got one. You can go it's somewhere. True. That's so true. <laughs> no one's can, American Express card gets hacked. You can go somewhere and not be satisfied, and they will give you your money, your money back. money back, yeah. Yes. All big purchases <sighs> make on an American Express card. I Hold make them. everything on American yeah, Express. Don't play it. with me. Don't play with me. Play with Jesus, because he came here and died for you. <laughs> Okay, is that what you're, so you marry your plus platinum? The, I'm platinum. Yeah, the silver one, yeah. yeah. What kind of mayo at the house? Do you use Miracle Whip or do you use Hellman's? We black. Okay. What does that mean? They don't, you don't <laughs> mess with mayo? A, not a lot. That's, <laughs> that's, a, white, that's a white thing. But if, if I'm making potato salad, it's Miracle Whip. Okay. Yeah, but we don't do no mayo. We don't. <laughs> My husband hate mayo, <laughs> and you just don't, uh, black people, that's, mayo is not our thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we cook with it, or we, you know, but my husband, it makes him vomit. Okay. <laughs> is the potato salad always homemade, or will, will you have potato salad from the store? We try always homemade. Okay. It's so much better. Okay. Can you cook? Are you a good cook? No, I'm not. No. But Can I have a hell of a stove I just bought. Yeah. <laughs> I, have all wolf I have all wolf appliances. Wolf. That's a awesome. real nice. What yes. about the cookware? What's the cookware? Wolf. The cookware's wolf too. The pans. Damn. Damn, Miss Pat's throwing around. She's not fucking, messing around. Some fucking cash. Down Shoes there off in the house. Shoes on. Uh, the new house off. Shoes are off. Hmm. And is that in? Is that enforced? Like if somebody came over and didn't yeah, take I have them off. Yeah, I have mittens and stuff at the door for you. Whatever. What? Oh. Holy shit. So if shit. we came over, you'd say shoes off, put on a, a pair shoes of Shoes off, or, uh, yeah, or either put some uh, booties on. Oh, over the shoes. Yeah, because I have a hardwood floors. What about bare feet? If I came uh, in and had flip If your feet don't stay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Are they real hardwood floors? They're mm. real. I didn't do any... Um, I don't, I'm old school, so I didn't do any of that vinyl stuff. I did it in the basement, mm -hmm. but I definitely didn't do it upstairs. Up the, the first two levels is all wood. It's all hardwood. Is there a third level? Yes. <laughs> 17,000 square sad. feet if it wasn't, it would be the size of the fucking White House. Yeah, it's, it's all it's, Do you have an elevator? I do. Yes, yes, you do. Shut up. No, you don't. Oh, what? <laughs> Holy shit, Damn. dude. A home elevator is not that expensive. <laughs> it's not that cheap it's either. It's not cheap either. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. You're the, first, you're the first person to have an elevator on the show. I'm yeah. okay, so I'm 51, and I don't like stairs because I'm fat, my husband fat, my kids fat, everybody fat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I figure, I, I, I don't ever say I've fat. never heard someone call their kids fat, and I'm oh, here yeah. for it. Oh, they, Everything they out of her mouth's funny. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> it's great. So I don't try, you know, I'm just going to keep it real. I don't say my forever home because, hey, I might get too big to live in that little neighborhood. I live around 12 little white people, and it's not gated. It's just a regular little community where the taxes was great, and I got seven acres. So I figured, wait. So you're living in a world where there's even more success. Like you're like I, I could level up from this house. Oh yes, Man. I live in a regular neighborhood. I, I live <laughs> in Indiana. I lived in a homeowner association. I fucking hated them people. Mm -hmm. Homeowner, yeah. They That'd don't stink. want you to paint your house. They don't shit. want you to put a gate. I, who do, you can't tell me what to do with my house? Mm -hmm. So I just said I'm going to a regular community, and I did, and I just tore the house down, and that was the most <sighs> action those little twelve white people had in over thirty years. Yeah, all, <laughs> I can tell you this: have nothing has ever been stolen from my property. If, 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 unless a contract took it. No, if you pull up on my property, my little lady Belinda across the street, me Pat, somebody out here, do they supposed to be out here? With, baby, they gon' my neighbors don't play. Yeah. My neighbors do not play. They're old, they're nosy, and they ain't got nothing else to do but call the police. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've had thousands of dollars laying out there on the ground. Never got towed it away. Really? But I do have a lot of cameras, too. There you go. You got to have the cams. I have 26 <coughs> cameras on my house. Because I have three cane Corso dogs, so they have their own house. Those are, yeah, those are the, those things are big. They're big dogs. Yeah, they're about 100 and some pounds a piece. <laughs> so they have their own house. I built them a 600 square foot house. It's bigger <laughs> than my apartment. Yeah. What's in the dog's house? And I'm not an elevator. <laughs> no, <laughs> three refrigerators, they two have islands, a <laughs> sushi chef. <laughs> they have a they have a washer and dryer. They have a full kitchen with a with a refrigerator because my husband feed them raw. So everything's done out there. Like, Pretty much, yeah, they're in the house. Can, if they have, yeah, yeah, they caged yeah. in on the outside. They can come out and chill, and they can go back. They have heating in there, and they have cable, Wi-Fi, and TV.
Oh, what shows do they like? <laughs> <laughs> they like Young Ms. and the Restless? The Miss Pat show. <laughs> Holy shit. That's yeah, they crazy. Have, they have their own TV. And everybody come in, they be like, what? This the dog house? <laughs> and it's fully brick. It looks just like the main house. I love that. Oh, that's adorable. That's cute. They, ca- they cage a custom. If they had tried to pitch that on an episode of Cribs, they would be like, no one's going to no no buy gonna this. Believe. We can't We can't use this. That's what are the dog's crazy. names? Uh, Zeus. Sheba and Kane, uh, uh, Zeus, Sheba, and Cone. Cone. Okay. Classy. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Do you know how to use chopsticks? No. Nah. No. Nah. I'm black. I just use a fork. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever left a bad Yelp review? Now, I don't write reviews, but I get my assistant to. I don't be spelling too fast. (laughs) (laughs) It take me a minute. Thermostat. Thermostat. (laughs) My mind don't click that quick. Mm -hmm. You brush your teeth in the shower? Who do that? (laughs) A lot of people. Do you pee in the shower? Yeah, pee in the shower, but who brush their teeth in the shower? A lot of people Some people. Yeah. I ain't never heard of that. <laughs> might be a so I get thing. so I guess y'all don't use washcloths either. No, I do. We use washcloths. I grew up. I grew up using washcloths. Is that what you use now? Is washcloths? Hell yeah! You, well, how you not gonna get the, the crust out your booty hole if you don't use? You gonna stick your head? You be, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you back there, there making a crap sandwich. <laughs> Will you use the Will you use the soap, the shampoo, and the and the and the conditioner that's in the hotel sometimes in the shower in the you know to have it in there? I steal it too. Like they got high end. <laughs> you take it yeah. home. Sure. Or I, or I'm we, saying the ones that are like they have the pumps in the yeah. shower. So the the, per, the the perfume. What's the name of the perfume she told you? Oh, I have it right here. So the perfume that I used, we was just in Miami, right? And so I noticed it was the lotion to the perfume, and the uh, lotion cost like seventy dollars. I was like, "Well, dang, this hotel balling." That's not a what. That's not a red roof inn. Where were you staying? I was staying at the. Um, I don't know. It was IH, IHG property. Okay. So it was really nice. It was and, nice. And I'm at the one here in, in New York now. But when I when I realized, I said, do y'all realize it's a perfume that I wear? And I ain't gonna lie, a few people in my in my group. Now I was gonna just pump it out. That was, too, you know, I was going to unscrew it and pour it in a water bottle just to be still in the lotion. Damn, that is but some trashy ass <laughs> shit, man. I didn't do it, but my friend, they took like eight water bottles of that lotion. <laughs> going room to room? Bur- yes. Burrito. Burrito. So it's like $300 for the perfume. Okay. But it's like $80 for the, about 120 for the body wash and 80 for the lotion. Man. I didn't do it. I was like, I can't afford this, but, you know, I was going to thought just, about it. Well, I was gonna just pour it over in the water, but pumping it was too much work for me. Did you get it though? Like, did did you did you receive it? No, I didn't. I didn't want none. Okay. I just let them it. Nice. So they weren't doing it at your behest. No, but you know what I used to do before I made a lot of money. My thing was when um, I would go on tour, like uh, with, with big bigger comedians, they would put me in nice hotels. I would always steal the towels. Stealing oh my the god, towels. the Hilton <laughs> towels, Marriott. You get fancy; they thick as hell. Mm-hmm. And I stole so many towels that I supplied my my this girl who did my hair beauty salon, my friend house, my son house. Every week, I would take an empty suitcase, and I would just steal the towels. That's insane. They're really nice. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. Wait, so there's, there's a beauty salon that's just all Hilton towels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the girl who used to do my hair, just all Hilton towels. What, what are the towels like now? Are they monogrammed? No, they all raggedy now. I don't steal them anymore. No, no, I mean, no, you at your house, house. At your house. Oh, no, I just buy regular, regular towels. Stuff. I like to shop at Ross. I'm a very discounty type person. Mm-hmm. You like a deal. Yeah, I like a deal. Mm-hmm. I like a deal. Okay. Now, I, I hit go on some expensive stuff sometimes. But you like a deal. Mm. How many times will you use a towel? Oh, once. Once that's it and it goes in the hamper? Yeah. Okay. Some people use it for a whole week. I can't do that. One one shot and it's done. Same thing with the washcloth or will the washcloth stay, stay in the shower? No, I, I, no I, one time. One time. Wow. You like a robe? You do robes? I'm too fat for robes. <laughs> I don't have to make them my size. Kippy, when's the last time you washed your towel? We're going to move on. This shows us we're talking to Miss Pat. <laughs> you reuse your towel? Yeah. Oh, I mean, well, uh, you're going to never talk A week. To hey, a what? week. That is disgusting. <laughs> you putting all that dead skin back on you? It's you, my skin. But 
is nasty. It's my skin, and I want to so keep you, it. So you you go, <laughs> so you go to the bathroom and you use the toilet. Said now you gonna leave all that flake on the toilet because you got a whole week of flakes. Uh, I yes. Oh, a week. You white, is, so you can't see the danger that you're in. Well, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That's nasty. A week's not crazy. Google the what, when a towel should be replaced. Once a day, if you Once got enough day towels. Is, that is high end. Out of every shower. Just throw it in the washer. That means I got to have seven towels. How many do you have? Uh, two, three. Yeah, about four, I think. How many do you have? You got to have 48. Well, I have a lot of towels. <laughs> I'd say in, uh, every three days. Every three days. Not I'm every- over that, if we're being honest. Yeah. I've never even come close. Because, you know, you never wash your body completely clean. So sometimes you get out and you wipe your butt and you still getting excess stuff. Sure, sure. And that is on that towel. So you flip it over and you're putting it back on you. I know. Yeah, it's, I'm not, you're not wrong, Miss Pat. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. You still uh, sneak uh, snacks into the movies? Hell yeah, that stuff is expensive. <laughs> and I tell the kids, don't pop the soda until action part comes. Yeah, Boom! Pop! <laughs> <laughs> What's your you, go-to movie snack? Do you get the popcorn there? I love the nachos. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love the, the nachos. Woman after my heart. Shout yeah. out to the nachos. I like, love the nachos. Hmm. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm pretty, I mean. Have you ever seen a UFO? Black people don't see <laughs> UFOs. <laughs> I get so tired of white people asking me this. It ain't real, (laughs) y'all. Stop trying to make these people real. They not real. Because if they were real, the government would be making them pay taxes. (laughs) Yeah, intergalactic bucks. Thank you. It ain't real. I mean, damn, I've never heard. Only white people see UFOs. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been ghost hunting or have you ever seen a ghost? Why? I don't even go to the graveyard to visit the dead. Don't nobody want to hear your lively problems. Okay. When I see people at the graveyard, I'm like, why you messing with them dead people? Sure, let them rest. The most I ever went to the graveyard is back in the day with my baby daddy because he was married and he didn't have no money. So he would take me to the graveyard and we would have sex out there. But I figured at that time, the, the ghosts was getting it on too. Sure. Sure. Ah, sex in the graveyard. Man. All the time. I got <laughs> pregnant with my second son in the graveyard. Jesus. Does he know that? Yeah, he got a dead eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brain, too. <laughs> I feel like I passed out at some point. I yeah. swear to God. <laughs> my head hurts, dude. <sighs> how old were you when I got like one or two more? How old were you uh, the first time you had lobster? And how old were you the first time you, had, you, you got your passport? Oh, the first time I got my passport, my friend took me to uh, Stuttgart, Germany oh, for shit. a gig. So I had to be maybe about 27, 28. Okay. Because I'm a convicted felon, so I thought I couldn't get a passport. Right. And he, it's funny because after I did the third season of Miss Pass Show, he pulled up the contract. I went all the way to Stuttgart, Germany for $500. <laughs> Damn. When what was the first pivot? time you had Nutella? What the hell is Nutella? <laughs> That bougie peanut butter. <laughs> oh, I don't eat that mess. My daughter did that. I don't eat no Nutella. Just give me Jiffy. I like the little man with the with the little shorts on. <laughs> Short with yeah. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like nuts in them either. Because yeah, I ain't got no trunk. back teeth. So I don't like nuts in my peanut butter. <laughs> uh-huh. And the first time I had lobster, it had to be when I first... Um, <laughs> Uh, first of all, when everybody was going to Red Lobster back in the day. Sure. But they didn't eat lobster. That's just some stuff they done created. Yeah, that's not that's so, like grown in a lab or something. I when I when we before we got on the cruise, I decided to treat everybody to a dinner in Miami mm-hmm. because they came on a cruise with me. So I treated everybody to um to uh, pr- uh prime. Yeah. Oh, they still talking about it. Mm-hmm. They're like, can we just go back to Prime? It's to expensive. Eat? That's it. I mean, that what was that? That bill's up there. It was. There were twenty two of twenty three of you at Ocean Prime or whatever. How much you think I spent? Four grand. Yeah, that's so, exactly what yeah. I spent. <laughs> that wasn't expensive to me. What was funny because I didn't tell them that I was picking up the bill. It was just, hey, we're going on a cruise. Appreciation. So everybody sat down and they was like, we 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 we're not gonna eat. Yeah. I, <laughs> about ten. I had some Nutella on the ride here. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, we just gonna go up the street after this is over. I said, I'm paying. Oh my God. Seafood the orders towers. came from yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prime oh is so God, good. That's funny. Damn. I mean, 
What do you think, Kippy? She's, <laughs> I mean, she broke the game. She's stone cold trash, but I fucking love her. Who trash? <laughs> <laughs> you a damn lie. I got blue crawl, blue shield. <laughs> I ain't no Medicaid no more. This vagina's got good health care. I've never had someone drop their health care as a flex. No, I, ain't, I got two health cares. One from SAG and one from Odyssey. I ain't no trash. I'm doing good. My vagina gets sick. I can get it seen three times in one day. <laughs> Baby, this, this is You might be Chick the funniest person on the planet, man. You <laughs> call me trash. You got me mixed up with McDonald's. Yeah, pussy. <laughs> I say you're all class, baby. Uh, thank you, baby. I'm chicken. I'm trash. And I'm sitting there with two health care. You done lost your damn uh, mind. Dude. And I got American Express card. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. I wasn't trash when I was poor because I used to steal good stuff. <laughs> uh, dude, my nose is running. My head hurts. Oh. Okay. Thank you all so mean, much. Ladies and gentlemen, the new show on BET, Miss Pat Settles It. You got to check it out. It's absolutely killing it. Yeah. Every Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. Come on, help me break. It is funny. If you, hey, this was funny podcast. But y'all <laughs> need to see me rip people apart that yeah. walk in my courtroom with that crap. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we are, uh, we're all over the road. Uh, shows are selling out. We're adding shows. Uh, there's probably, I think, 10 more left for the for the rest of the year. Get those tickets now. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Miss Pat, this was uh, unbelievable. Yeah. You got Miss Pat settles it. You got the Miss Pat show about to do your fourth season. You're on tour. You got the podcast. You got the special. Congratulations. Just, just go to misspatcomedy.com for all tour dates because I'm out here. She's a the, the maybe the hardest killer of, of all time. It's crazy. <laughs> I honestly can't think straight. Yeah. Miss Pat, thank you so much. We love you. Thank you all for having yeah, me. Gang, we love you and we'll see you next week. Peace.